NASDAQ and Asia is, uh, is a fantastic combination. Uh, NASDAQ stands for growth uh, and, and technology digitalization. Asia and Asia Pacific has enormous opportunities. It's, uh, it's an area for growth. Uh, I've been there for 20 years and it's never stopped growing and, and the future looks fabulous. Asia is a very diverse uh, continent with many different levels of development in, in different countries. There are needs for standardization. Uh, so standardization in terms of financial markets, trading, clearing, post-trade is, is a, a strong trend over the years and it will just continue to develop uh, in the continent. I also see that the green finance, uh, for example, the climate uh, carbon credits contracts traded, is developing strongly in, in the region and there are many opportunities there. Um, further, I will say digitalization, crypto trading, uh, tokenization of products is also a, a very strong trend in the region. With uh, a financial platform that can uh, help smaller and larger markets to be more standardized and be more welcoming to new participants that are regional and, and global, I think we play a, a very important role to help to drive standardization and that will in the end uh, increase liquidity in the financial markets. Further, I see in green finance with a cooperation and, uh, we have with Pure Earth and our technology platform is a very a good way for smaller and larger markets to get into carbon credit in, in a standardized way. In the digitalization space, we play a significant role with the technology platforms that we have today, allowing exchanges to trade cryptos in a safe and regulated environment. We can uh, apply the, uh, the, the way of trading that is used in the financial markets also in the new, new space of those products, which is a way for markets to grow in a transparent way. And we see that the new regulation and regulatory authorities supervision of those markets, there we can play a, a significant role to help those markets to be transparent and trustable.